What I find um, so wonderful and therapeutic about making music, that's always been the same. That never changes at mm. all. Uh, it's kind of like at any time something really incredible can happen when you're mm. making music. When you're writing a song, um, you know, at any time, like um, something really awesome can just fall mm. out of you. And Wow, do you, do you remember the first song you wrote or your first attempt to craft a song when, when you started to think this, this might be what I want to do? Yeah, I mean, the, the very first songs that, that I ever wrote, you know, personally, even before um, starting the band, um, it was kind of like, you know, this, this adventure that you could go on. You could create your own adventure. Mm. Um, and that's really what songwriting is about. It's, it's telling a story and... and like I said before, the excitement of, of, of making something happen. It's, you hear these songs about like, you know, when, when these monumental song, these stories about when monumental songs were written, it's like, it always happens at these really unexpected times. Yourself, I mean, yeah. all it takes is, is, you know, a couple of chords or something and, and something that makes it seem unique in some way. I think for an artist, your biggest enemy is is being afraid. I think being like fear is a really powerful um, enemy for an yeah. artist. Really, <clears throat> like, but it can be it can if you if you can figure out a way to make the the fear um, something productive. But like fear of not being good, fear of like, wow, this is what I'm writing terrible you know does this mm. suck like every every i think everybody struggles with that idea even after you know making music for for a long period of time you know when when i start writing things it, inevitably like it goes to this place where i start second guessing it and the thing is is you just can't do that yeah. just uh, worry about it later write the music and then worry about whether or not you think it's awesome the yeah. music just needs to happen so mm. like get out of your own way and just let it let it happen. Fear of failure is the worst. Oh, and I think that fear of failure, per, it's not just a music thing. It's the same thing that happens in athletics. It's the same thing that happens anywhere where you start to build up expectation. The, the whole industry in some ways, whether you're a business artist, is there's a certain bit of fear, insecurity, and paranoia that's just built into the process. Overcome. I will say this about you. You have a wonderful ability to sit there and just go, fuck it, this is either going to work or it's not. Brandon is sort of like a melody machine. Like he can, he can think of a melody from anything. Yeah. If there's ever a time when when I write something and he doesn't respond to it, um, or isn't inspired by it somehow, that that would really be the only scenario. Is if like I write something and and he's just like, well, I don't really like the way this sounds, or yeah. I'm, I'm not feeling this, or whatever. Um, but I wouldn't I wouldn't ever say that there would ever be a, a case where like you know. Sorry, Brandon, yeah. your melody's not cutting it. <laughs> well, let me ask you this. When you're part of a, a recording process, right, and you're out there and you're in a band and you're making a record and you're... Over it. Um, you know, lots of people want to know what the role of a producer is. It's just a guy that you get in a room with as a band and make music with. Somebody that you're just... He's just there along for the, for the ride with you and... Do you like this person? Yeah. You know, do you think this is this person has like a, a you know, has something to add to this mm. process? And Brandon is always um, he's he's really upbeat in the studio. Like he he likes to keep he's moving. A positive he guy. doesn't like to get bogged down in in you know details that don't really matter because that happens very easily. Yeah. Brandon's like you know good at yeah. keeping things yeah, flowing well, and moving and and. Uh, and he's also just a great guy. He's, yeah. He tells great jokes, too. He's and he's a Musicians make music. You know? Yeah. They, you know, it's like you just... You know, All right, well... We we'll can't be expected to do the same thing over and over and over again. You know? yeah, so yeah. <clears throat> I would say study box corrals yeah. and then take that into whatever you want to do and twist it around and be, be creative with it. Um, you know, and then break all the rules. That's yeah. the that's the whole purpose of it is to break rules. But if you want a good foundation, that's the place to start. Well, that's
It's actually one of the most fascinating things about studying music. You study music history, and it is so incredible to see how music has evolved in its own way. And also technology really influences music, especially mm -hmm. it's so noticeable now. You can see that, you know, all through the progression of music, you know, yeah. 18th, 19th, 20th century, you see exactly. an arc there. And yeah. it's, it's fantastic to study it.